I don't, I mean, I, if you want to call in um, Asha and Aradhana, I'm sure that they will have, oh, you want me to say yes. Okay, sorry before, she's like, I need the gossip. <laughs> so the Miss Universe organization, when asked what they were looking for, what could we send them? That's exactly what she said to me. She said, send me a girl who nobody can stop listening to. Or send me a girl that when she comes in, I can't take my eyes off. So I'll tell you this, folks. When I was Miss Universe, people were very ready when they knew that, oh, the new Miss Universe was going to come in through the door. Everybody was ready to see a beautiful woman walk through the door, right? But not necessarily an intelligent one. So the minute you opened your mouth and actually had something to say, it completely threw them off. You know, but what a surprise package was that? It was amazing because you get them where you're an unexpected package that is refreshing. And that is what the Miss Universe organization wants today. They want somebody who owns herself, who owns the world, who knows that that is hers and she belongs in it. So we're going to try our hardest best this year, 2017. You're going to see the girls that have made it to the finalists for this year. Again, a lot of them are girls who are very, very raw, so we have a long way to go with them. But we would really love to have your support in getting people to understand what it is that we're doing here with this pageant, what it's all about, and what it entails and what it means, so that we can actually get also a, just a better lot of girls entering every year. So now you can invite Alana. <laughs> uh, can you go again? <laughs> Miss Universe. Don't you think yeah, she I think just they, you know, go again, get us a crown I think, back? I think they have an age limit. And <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And I think I've done my, I've done my, what do they call it, duty party parade, I've done it. <laughs> In my life. You're just amazing, Lara. And I guess it's the awe that you, the aura that you create. Thank you so much once again. And um, before I, of course, call upon now, um, uh, our lovely two ladies who will join us on the panel for um, discussing the Miss Diva journey. Yama Fasino Miss Diva journey. Exciting uh, consumer like product category of fragrances. Okay, so Miss Diva fragrances are now available in EDPs and body mist exclusively on Flipkart, Archie's as well as Health and Glow and I'm not getting any perfume for this, I don't know why. But it's available for all of you. Before you leave, please take the perfumes for yourselves. And let, it, let me tell you that borrowing its attributes from the pageant, Miss Eva fragrances are available in three variants. The showstopper, fashionista, and the cover girl. Um, it's developed in partnership with All Good Sense, one of the leading perfumeries of India, and it's designed from the juices in France. I don't know if that had to do with anything about France winning last year, but uh, yeah. It's, it's, about, it's all about that. We would like you to all try it out and um, use it and let us know our feedback. Thank you so much. Let me call upon our next lovely lady really quickly. Yes. 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 So let's just hear it from you. First of all, uh, my journey has been really unique. It's been really very different. Because I entered Bollywood then I came back here again. All I would say that uh, superheroes wear capes. But some superheroes wear crown and heels. At the moment, Lara, leaving with a crown, 
I became a superhero. The very same day when I when I became Miss Teen Mom, Miss Universe in the 2015, I became a superhero. So I'm just so very thankful to Times of India, Times Group, and Lara especially for grooming all of us, not only me, but all the contestants. She has been a rock and uh, I'm just so very grateful to have a mentor like Lara. And uh, you are a very special person in my life, <laughs> you even you know that. So yeah, I mean, what, what else? I mean, you can talk about me also. I'm just kidding. Okay. Was, okay. I don't yeah. like that. Lati, how many notions? She was just like, excuse me. I was just kidding. What kind of things? Why don't you talk about what happened at Miss Universe in the sense, what was your experience? And why don't you tell us how your thought process after winning the pageant and after you went back to Bollywood changed? We would like to know that. Uh, well, uh, when you're in a pageant, it's just like, you know, uh, it's just like, uh, as if you are in a, you're going on for Olympics or you're training for Olympics, you really get to learn a lot. But uh, being a pageant, you really get to learn. You, you're like you know, you perform your best under pressure. That's what you learn. You learn goal setting. You learn how to be the best version of yourself. I think that's what pageants teach you. Teach you. Yeah. Okay, a controversial one. Oh my God. Who are you really rooting for? Philippines or Colombia in your year? If you, if it wasn't you, who were you rooting for? Um, uh, personally rooting for? You know what I mean. Um, I would say Colombia or Yadma. Yeah, and why? Why? Because for me, a winner should always be a complete package. She should be she should be the best. Like she should be complete package with a great track of skills, with a great Q&A, and she should have a great personality, a great person from heart. That really matters to me the most. Are you still in touch with her? Yes, we FaceTime each other. Yeah. Wow. So, so women can be friends. You know, yes, of course. Yeah. Is that true? Do you all agree? Yeah, I still have one of the most rewarding friendships in my life till date is with Miss Namibia. So Miss Namibia, Mia, Miss Japan, Mayu and me, we were called the three P's in a pod during my year. And today Mia and I both have a daughter each. We're still very good friends. We still go on holidays together. Mayu is an incredible lawyer in Japan. So I haven't seen Mayu in a few years. But these are friendships that lasted way over anybody winning a title or you know taking away a crown or anything like that. And they're amazing friendships that you make. Wow, that really speaks volumes. I completely agree with her. The friendships we have a you know a faith like a WhatsApp group with all the countries all together, and then a lot of the girls they are married, they have two three babies. So I'm like, oh my god, they already have babies already. Yeah, exactly. That's wow. quite hard to digest. Um, I guess Miss uh, Italy, she has like two babies. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. really beautiful. So you know, I mean, you know, this whole thing that we revolve around uh, that two beautiful women cannot be friends is like really untrue when it comes to this world. Okay. Yes, there are. There's a competition and all of that. But at the end of the day, it's all about being a great human being and cherishing. Uh, quite true. I must say. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you so much, Laura. Uh, let me call upon our next lovely lady. And uh, uh, I mean, she is part of the family now, I suppose. I mean, she's our in-house grooming expert. All the women come to her for advice. Please help, please help us. We want to be, uh, you know, winning this just like you did it. She won us the Miss Supranational title, which was the first ever, she was the first Asian to win that title. And we are, yeah, come on, let's give it up, yeah? The first Asian to win that title. And, uh, you know, she was, uh, the best part is she was just a regular girl who was an NCD, NCC cadet. Actually, let me not even say regular, because regular girls don't go to NCC cadets. I mean, uh, they are like tough women, you know? They are tough women and they're there and she never thought of wearing the heels and the crown, the weapon that you just spoke about, the smile. And when we saw her the first day at the audition, we were stumped with her stumped catwalk. 
uh, ramp walk. See, but then this is where I'm shattering, including within the organization. This is where I'm shattering stereotypes. Please, a Miss Diva doesn't have to be born in heels and be a girly girl who only wants to, you know, wear tiaras on her head and pink dresses. I spent precisely. I spent most of my childhood up in trees plucking whatever fruit I could get my hands off with my knees busted and my elbows busted. And I was an NCC cadet who went crawling through trenches with those awful three not three rifles over our heads at five wow. o'clock in the morning. Whoa. We're rewriting the rules right here as Indian women. I, I completely, completely agree with you. I mentioned about me as well. I'm also a national basketball champion. Okay. These are tough women sitting there. Now you can't like compete with them, all right? I'm telling you, the guys here, are you scared? Are you? He's like, I am. The people, the children. Okay, so this, this, uh, so this lady is only an NCC cadet, but she's a trained classical dancer. She is extremely talented. Our Miss Supranational 2014, I have nothing more to say for you. Please come on stage.